she ever heard the word dictatorship, kingdom, all the things that we fought to get away from that our founding fathers died for, our rights, our freedoms, our liberties, that's what we're talking about right here, right now. Well, today they don't shoot you like we used to. Today we bitch and moan because we ain't got the fucking balls. Well, I do. You are violating my rights. The only job guaranteed in America under our Constitution is the media. Who in the hell are you to stop that? This is America. And that's the tin blue line everybody's talking about. That's the cover-ups they're always talking about. This is America. Plain and simple. And sooner or later, each and every one of you people that took your oath to protect my constitution and his and hers and that young lady over there and that news lady over there and that male that came. Hey, what about me? And this man behind me. You took an oath. You're gonna protect it. If you like it or not. Or get the fuck out of here. Get a new job. We don't want you anymore. If you can't do your job properly, we'll replace all of you. Go. These people aren't going away, and neither am I, and neither is that one, and that one, none of us are. You people are going to have to explain it to everybody. going on everybody last days of freedom we're here in Nashville Tennessee where they had the explosive device go off and it was literally right over there at the AT&T Bell South building I'm trying to figure out a way to get a view. Let me see if I can get any better view from coming down this way. They have everything blocked off. You can't get to anything. Well, let me activate my body, body camera here just in case. Just so everybody knows, that was the building they attacked there. The AT&T Belsoft building, which they, everybody calls it the Batman building. If you live around here, you know that it's the Batman building. <laughs> I'm going to try to get us as close as possible without getting in trouble here. They didn't have this blocked off, so... We'll see.
again for all of you who don't know this is my hometown I was born and raised 20 miles from here 19 if you want to get Pacific all these restaurants and stuff are closed so I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here but that's what us journalists do Trying to get us. There's a car up there, so. No, that's a cop. <laughs> but I'm literally at the bottom of the building where the explosion happened. I think it happened on the other side, which is 2nd Avenue, which they're not allowing anybody to get to. So I don't know if you can get to it from any way because that's a cop setting up there. And that's a cop setting there. I'm 99% sure I'm not supposed to be here. But obviously what they tried to do was take out 911 because anybody who has AT&T and all that, their phone services were down until about 7 o'clock last night. And that's when the phone services started working again. But... Uh, as far as like 911 dispatch and all that, it's still down right now. So it makes me wonder though. Here's the thing about it, y'all. The RV parked there, I think they say around 2 o'clock in the morning. And it instantly started blaring itself on a loudspeaker stating that it had a bomb in it and it was going to explode. So here's the thing. The people, our person, whoever did this, I don't think their goal was to kill people. Because if you, if you wanted to kill people, you would have simply pulled it up beside the busiest building here or football stadium or something and detonated it. You wouldn't have warned people that it was going to blow up to clear the area. Which, luckily, because of that, the police had time to clear that building, you know, like this building, the, all the buildings surrounding it, they had time to clear it, to get it all, everybody out. I think their goal was to simply take down 911 communications which leads me to believe whatever they're planning they're not done That detective in that car just keeps looking at me. He's not saying nothing about me being here, but I'm sure he will if I walk on up there anymore.
we'll see. I wish I could get a view of where it about happened at. That way. That way you people could see the damage that happened. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get a view of that. I'll swap the cameras here. Because there's a bunch of cops standing down there. Looks like they're taking pictures. I'm not sure on which side it went off, but considering there's nothing on this side down that way, nor down that street, because I'm not seeing no remains of a vehicle or anything, and I know they haven't cleaned it up that quick. Let me see if I can ask this cop where, which side it went off on. Because it had to have been down there on the other side. Hey, which side did it happen on? What side did it happen on? That explosion, whatever happened, the RV. It's right over there. Um, I do have to ask you to stay on that side of the street, though. This That's is the uh, Fourth Avenue. Here is kind of the FBI's perimeter that they want us to maintain. Okay, so. I just wanted to ask you a question. Yeah, I was just um, asking. Yeah, I mean it was just right over there. I, I haven't been down there myself. So was it on the other street, Second Avenue, actually on Second? It was on Second Avenue. To be honest with you, I don't, I'm not sure if it was on that side of the street or that side. All right, I got you. I was just trying to get some. I run a yeah, channel, so you and know. You're, you're good filming from that side of the sidewalk, but you just, like I said, gotta stay on that side. Yeah, okay. All right, thank you. You're so, okay, I'm good right here, I guess. I'll go back up here and zoom back in for y'all. So y'all heard him. He said it happened right down there on the other, well, if you go right there where them last two cop cars are and turn right, that's where it happened at. I can't believe the FBI is involved. It should be the TBI, but... So, this is about as close as I'm going to be able to get to it without 
running into law enforcement. And I definitely don't want to tread onto any crime scene area and leave my DNA on it or something. Again, I'm standing here on Commerce Street and 4th Avenue. Where that red light is right there, that is 3rd Avenue. And then the next street is 2nd Avenue where the explosion happened at. It would have to be on the other side of them trees right there. On the th you can't see through the building obviously. So. I can't figure out what them cops right there are doing. They got a tripod set up with a camera on it. It's not a news crew, it's actually cops. So I guess they're just taking crime scene photos. Because I know wherever it was at, Wherever it was at, um, sorry, uh, which would have to be where we can't see it. Of course, they're not going to let anybody get close enough to see it if you're not mainstream media fake news. But, uh, That dude must be an agent that walking down through there because he whipped open a badge and flashed it. But I guess this is all I'm gonna be able to get, so it's nothing exciting from right here. I was trying to get y'all some good video of it because I know the trees were laid out. I mean, it it was a little more than a homemade bomb. If you go watch the video of the actual explosion, because there's cameras around here everywhere, and <laughs> it wasn't no propane like they're saying it was. They're saying it was possibly a bunch of propane tanks inside of an RV which no if you go watch that explosion it was a way more than that He was pretty nice. But had to give directives though. I don't see what six feet matters from here to the other side of the street, but as long as you don't go past that point, I don't see what the big deal is, but look, ever since I came over here and stand, everybody's coming walking through here now. I have never, I mean, I'm 43 years old and I have never seen Nashville like this. Not this dead. Normally this is like one of the most boominous cities in America. Normally there's always, you know, some kind of action going on. There would be, uh, 
party buses, people riding around, drinking. But try to get y'all a little shot of the skyline here. Of course, I'm right dead smack in the middle of all of it. Um, if anything else unfolds, um, I'm not going to be far from this area. I will definitely come back and get more video if I can. I mean, if something goes down and I will keep you guys informed. Be sure to smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe ring that bell and be sure to subscribe ring that bell that way you get all notifications when and if I upload a video not if I upload a video but when I upload a video I don't know y'all I'm cold it's freezing out here I'm like so ready for spring and summer to come back I'm going to keep this on until I get out of this area because that one cut's looking at me funny. So y'all be sure to stay tuned. I will bring y'all any further updates. If I get any new updates, I'll post it in the comments. And let's just walk this way a minute. Give you a little view of Nashville. I see there's still people out down here though. But nothing like it normally would be. Normally this place would be so jam-packed you couldn't even walk through here. Uh, you could walk through here but it, you know. Again, that's the building they attacked there. AT&T. There's ATL, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. He's killing me, man. Oh, that sun feels good. Nice and warm. There's Bridgestone Arena. off here and all these bars are losing so much money I'm sure they'll get a government funded tax break everybody coming taking pictures of themselves
again, like I said there, man. In all my life, I've never seen Nashville this dead. Not even on Sundays at 6 o'clock in the morning. It's normally more busy than this.